This is a full review on the Logitech HD Webcam C615. I want to be clear that I'm not using the Webcam's built-in microphone right now. I'm using my Blue Yeti microphone. So keep that in mind while you watch this video. There will be parts where I will be showcasing the Webcam's audio. In this video, you will see different testing clips that I did. Actually, you won't be seeing the full testing because I only want to pick out the ones that I want to point it out and show it to you. Let's start with the good things about this camera. A tripod base. This is really neat because I do online tutoring and with my old computer, I can really move around a lot. With this, I will be able to play games with my students and able to just point the camera to my table or something. So that is really awesome. It is very portable. You can fold it and not have to worry about ruining the lens because you can rotate it and fold it down. It's also really small. I have a small hand, but this thing is small. It's really nice. It's about 2.5 inches in, the, in width. When you fold it up, it's about 1.5 in thickness. So that it's really neat. It's very small, very portable. I already mentioned that it's very flexible, but seriously, this thing rotates 360 degree. I mean, I don't really use that since, yeah, there's no reason for me to use that, but it's there if you need it and you can pretty much point to any angle. It's very flexible. The microphone is pretty nice for a webcam. It's definitely a lot better than my computer's built-in microphone, that's for sure. Hello! This is a video testing for the HD webcam C615. The resolution is set to large 720p. The microphone is the webcam's built-in microphone. The light is the regular room light, which is kind of yellow, warmish. My light is not that bright. It also has functions like autofocus, pan, and tilt if you need it. This autofocus is on the iffy side for me. Sometimes it does a really good job. It will show the option really clearly, really quickly. And then other times it's like, eh. I don't feel like doing it. So, but the good thing is you do have the function to manually adjust it if you need it. For example, if you're doing an offline video recording and the autofocus is getting on your nerve, then you can switch over to the manual one. Even though I have to say, even though it might take a while to focus, it's still pretty nice to have autofocus than manual focus. Right now, autofocus is off. So if I do this, it is not going to focus. However, I can do that, I can adjust that manually. So let's see, there, see how it's getting closer? And then if I keep on moving the slider, it's going to, going to be clearer when it's really close up. And as you go further away, it becomes blurry. Second testing. Last one. Back to me. Okay. So now, with 720p, you have the ability to jump in and jump out. So let me do that real quick. Okay, jumping in. out okay okay that is pretty neat I'm not sure if I will be using this though since um I don't really work a lot on using the webcam if I'm doing a live webcam aim <laughs> so yeah This is a video testing for the HD Webcam C615. The resolution is set to large 720p. The microphone is the Webcam's built-in microphone, and the light is my studio light.
This webcam is advertised as HD 1080p. However, if you are planning on using it to do a video recording, for example, for YouTube or something like that, then it's not really for your average computer. You will see my computer spec on the screen and in the description. I think my computer is okay. It's not like super top notch, but it's okay for what I need to do. For example, if you are using this for the 720p recording, then that's fine. The video pretty much gets saved immediately. However, for 1080p, it takes time to save the file and there's no option to cancel it. So if you like, ah, I don't like that video, I want to refilm this, you have to wait for it to finish saving first, then you can try to do it again. That is very time consuming and it's not that good of an option. Even though it is there, and if you have a better computer, it might work out better for you. It's just not working out too well for me. Another thing is I do find the 720p pretty sufficient for my need. The reason that I bought this webcam back then was to film videos. I want to have a higher quality video recording, but I didn't have the budget for a DSR camera. So I bought this, and I was able to finish the project I was working on. And I made about like 10 videos using this webcam. You can check out those videos in the description below, but they are just kind of embarrassing to watch because I made them so long ago. So anyways, they are there for you to check out if you want to see the quality. You also get a 3 foot extension cord so that it's really handy when you are using it on a tripod and you need to move it a little bit further than your computer reach. Overall, I'm really happy with this webcam. It does everything I needed to do, and it also comes with the extra feature like the tripod base and the extension cord, and a pretty decent autofocus. As always, thank you so much for watching, and remember to check the description to see if there's any updates since I cannot update the video, but I can definitely update it in text. So yeah, I hope this was helpful. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!